Dear students, today we are taking a little break from the play the proposal and we are starting a new chapter, Strong Roots by APJ Abdul Kalam. So open your books and let us start the chapter Strong Roots. APJ Abdul Kalam, his full name was Abul Pakir Jainul Abdin Abdul Kalam was an Indian scientist and he was the ex-president of India Bharate Traktor Rashtrapati He was the 11th president of India Kalam was born in Tamil Nadu He was born in Rameshwaram a town in Tamil Nadu and then he studied physics after that, Kalam studied aerospace engineering at the Madras IIT, Madras Institute of Technology at MIT. Later, he joined the ISRO or Indian Space Research Organization. He also joined the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and he was one of the pioneers of India's first space launch vehicle program. Bharate rocket uraner tini onnotomo pothikrit. So Kalam was both a scientist and the, president, the ex president of India. He wrote an autobiography. Remember the name of the autobiography? The name of his autobiography is Wings of Fire. And this chapter, Strong Roots has been taken from that book, Wings of Fire. It has been taken from Kalam's autobiography. Here, Kalam speaks about his childhood. He speaks about his early life. He speaks about the hardships faced by him. Because Kalam's father was a humble person. He was neither rich nor well educated. And Kalam had to fight against odds. Before he became the president of India or a scientist. So his autobiography will inspire us. Let us find out what he tells us in this chapter, Strong Roots. I was born into a middle class Tamil family in the island town of Rameshwaram in the erstwhile Madras state. Where was Kalam born? Kalam was born into a middle class Tamil family. That means his mother tongue is Tamil. And where was he born? He was born in the island town of Rameshwar. Island town. That means this town is like an island. It is surrounded by water. Kalam was born in Rameshwar. Where is Rameshwar? It is in the erstwhile Madras state. The word erstwhile means former, Agekar. Actually, under the British rule, when Kalam was born, uh, India was divided into three presidencies the Kolkata Presidency, the Madras Presidency, and the Bombay Presidency. So all the southern states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Karnataka were under the Madras state. In those days, all of South India was known as Madras state. The Gota Taichino Madras state. So Kalam was born in Rameshwaram in Madras state. My father, Jainul Abdin, had neither much formal education nor much wealth. What was the name of Kalam's father? Kalam's father was Jainul Abdin. Kalam's father did not have formal education. Education may be formal or informal. Formal education means the education that we get in schools, colleges and universities and from where we get certificates and degrees. This is formal education. But education may be informal also. We can learn from nature, we can learn at home from books, we can learn from our private teachers. For example, Rabindranath uh, was educated at home by private tutors. So that was informal education. So Kalam's father did not have formal education. But that does not mean that he was not educated. He was educated informally. And he did not have much wealth. Wealth means riches, shampan. Kalam's father was not a rich person. He was a poor man. Despite these disadvantages, disadvantage means 
obstacles, hurdles, badha. What were the disadvantages of Kalam's father? He did not have formal education, he did not have wealth. But in spite of these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom. Innate means something that comes from within. Wisdom came from within him. He had innate wisdom. He was a wise man. And he had a true generosity of spirit. Generosity means kindness. He was also kind. He had an ideal helpmate in my mother Ashiyamma. Kalam's mother's name was Ashiyamma. She was an ideal helpmate of her husband. Helpmate, that means a mate who helps uh, in every sphere of activity. She is called a helpmate. So Kalam's mother was an ideal helpmate of Kalam's father. I do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day. Every day Kalam's mother fed many people. She was such so kind that she fed many people. Kalam does not remember the exact number. It was many. But I am quite certain that far more outsiders ate with us than all the members of our own family put together. The number of the outsiders who ate exceeded the number of family members. That means Kalam's mother fed many people. My parents were widely regarded as an ideal couple. And a couple means husband and wife. They were ideal couple. That means they were made for each other. That means Kalam's father and Kalam's mother had similar taste. They had the same bent of mind. Both of them were kind. Both of them were generous. They were an ideal couple. My mother's lineage was the more distinguished. Lineage. Lineage means descent. Kalam's mother's lineage was more famous than her father's. Kalam's mother's lineage was more famous than her father's. One of her forebears having been bestowed the title of Bahadur by the British. Forebears means ancestors. One of the ancestors of Kalam's mother had been given the title Bahadur by the British. In the British era, Rai Bahadur, Rai Shaheb, where the titles bestowed upon the people. So Kalam's mother's ancestor had received the title Bahadur by the British. So Kalam's mother's lineage was more famous than that of Kalam's father's lineage. I was one of many children. Kalam's, uh, Kalam had many brothers and sisters. A short boy with rather undistinguished looks. Kalam says that he was not tall, he was short. His looks were undistinguished. That means his looks were not conspicuous. Conspicuous means something that attracts attention. That is called conspicuous. Kalam's, uh, Kalam's figure was not conspicuous. He was short and not conspicuous to look at. Born to tall and handsome parents. His parents were tall and good looking, but Kalam was not. We lived in our ancestral house, which was built in the middle of the 19th century. Ancestral house means house built by ancestors. Kalam lived in the ancestral house. It was built in the middle of the 19th century. It was a fairly large pakka house made of limestone and brick. Pakka house, the word pakka is a loan word, pakka bari. And this house was made of limestone and brick. And what was the address on the mosque street in Rameswar? This was the address of Kalam's house. My austere father used to avoid all inessential comforts and luxuries. Austere means one who does not spend lavishly. That does not mean he is a miser. He does not spend lavishly. My austere father used to avoid the luxuries. Luxuries means the comforts that are not essential. Bidashita. He avoided luxury. However, all necessities were provided for in terms of food, medicine or clothing. But Kalam's father provided the essentials of life 
like food, medicine and garments. In fact, I would say mine was a very secure childhood, materially and emotionally. Kalam's childhood was secure. Secure means safe. It was safe materially. Materially means from the standpoint of materialism. That means he had enough food, enough security, enough education, uh, the other necessities of life. And he also had emotional security. Uh, he, Kalam's father provided him with love, sincerity, kindness. Because man does not live by bread alone. Man also needs care, love, sincerity. These were also provided for by Kalam's father. I normally ate with my mother sitting on the floor of the kitchen. She would place a banana leaf before me. Kalam did not eat off plates. He ate off banana leaves and he ate with his mother in the kitchen, on which she then ladled. Ladle means a big spoon, hata. Ekane ladled a verb, give something with the help of a ladle. She ladled rice and aromatic sambar. Aromatic, that means having a sweet smell, because aroma means sweet smell. For example, in the organic chemistry or aromatic compound. Aromatic sambar, a variety of sharp homemade pickle, pickles on achar, and a dollop of fresh coconut chutney. In the south, chutney is made from coconut. Oil is also made from coconut. So Kalam's mother provided him with this food. Uh, sambar, rice, pickle and chutney. Dollop means a large quantity. So we have a glimpse of Kalam's childhood from his autobiography. Read up to this point, we will continue it in our next class. Thank you.